Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making tabbouleh pita pockets. Tabbouleh is a Lebanese dish and it's just so fresh and tangy and it tastes awesome. All right team, the ingredients which we can found in the description below. So go ahead and get your groceries, meet me in the kitchen and let's get cooking together. All right, team, so tabbouleh is something that can be eaten as a main dish. I usually like it as a side dish, or in this case, inside a pita pocket. I think it's great in pita pockets. So base of our pita pocket, we're gonna go ahead and make some roasted chickpeas. All right, teams, I've already got my chickpeas rinsed and drained, and I am just gonna add about a tablespoon, one to two tablespoons of olive oil and some salt to taste. Good, and then go ahead and give that a stir. Once that's combined, go ahead and pour it onto a lined baking sheet with foil, and you're gonna bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes, and give it a stir about halfway through so they cook nice and evenly. All right, team, while those are roasting, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the tabbouleh. So you need a grain for tabbouleh. I'm gonna go ahead and use quinoa. Traditionally, you use bulgur wheat, but what was available to me is quinoa. The dish should be mainly green, so you only need a little bit of grains. I have about a third a cup of quinoa. If you've never cooked quinoa before, it's kind of like cooking rice. We're just gonna put in quinoa, some water, a little bit of salt, and you're gonna bring it up to a boil and then lower it down to a simmer and cover it. You should follow the instructions on the back of whatever brand of quinoa you purchase. All right, team, now for the fun part, we're finally gonna chop up all these gorgeous looking vegetables. So the main ingredient in tabbouleh is going to be parsley. I have two bunches here of curly parsley, two to three bunches is good. My bunches are pretty large at the store, so I went ahead and go, gone with two. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna use a purple onion. If you want a more mild onion flavor, you can also use green scallions. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a purple onion. That's my preferred kind of onion taste two to three tomatoes, depending on their size. Cucumber is optional. It's not traditional, but I like a little bit of cucumber in my tabbouleh and the juice of one to two lemons. And then you just need olive oil and a little bit of salt to taste. And you need all your ingredients chopped really fine here. If you have a food processor, now would be like the great time to bring it out and chop up all of this parsley. I don't have one, so as you can see, I'm getting a little fancy with the knife skills and just taking my time going through each ingredient and make sure it's chopped really fine. Also optional here is to add in mint. Mint is traditionally in tabbouleh. Um, I find mint to be a little overpowering of a flavor when it's just the straight up leaves. I like it in toothpaste and I like Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookies, but I don't really like putting mint leaves into my tabbouleh recipe, but that's totally personal preference. That's the beauty of cooking your own food. You should make it yours. If you wanna add some mint leaves, about a third of a cup of mint leaves would also work as well. Also, I forgot to mention that I like to add sliced almonds to this recipe. It gives it a little bit of a crunch. So you'll see me add in some sliced almonds at the end when we start to mix it all up. The color of all this stuff is just so beautiful. Look at that bowl, it's absolutely delicious. Also a little tip for you guys, I do like to squeeze my lemon juice into a separate glass instead of just straight over the bowl. In case some seeds do come out, I can just make sure that I get rid of those before pouring it over the bowl and the whole ingredients there. Now, I love lemons, so I did use both lemons, all the juice of both those lemons right there and add that in. I love the tanginess in this dish that it adds. Option to just go with one lemon if you're not a huge lemon fan like me, but I think two, even three lemons, it makes it just perfect. All right, team, we're almost at the grand finale. We are going to assemble these. I also strongly recommend that you give your tabbouleh a little bit of taste. I just tasted mine and it's nice and tangy and perfect, but do taste it before you put it on here to make sure it's seasoned the way that you like it. Now I just use store-bought pita bread. This is not homemade pita bread. I just bought it at the store, saved some time. And I also just bought hummus. This is also not homemade hummus. It's a roasted garlic hummus that I got at the store. And then I'm just assembling it. So I go ahead and add on the roasted chickpeas. Olives are optional. I like black olives in this dish. And then obviously the main ingredient is going to be tabbouleh. Don't be shy about adding this tabbouleh. That's where a lot of the flavor is. So I like to put a big old heaping spoonful of tabbouleh on to these then I went ahead and made a couple more so that I could have lunch with my boyfriend all 
All right, team, time for everybody's favorite part, taste test. I've set aside two for my boyfriend and one for me. I'm just gonna roll it up and try not to make a mess. This is so beautiful, I love all this color. I'm gonna try not to make a mess here. Mm. That's delicious. The lemon and the tabbouleh is so tangy and just refreshing. Such a fresh herb taste. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm finished chewing this. All right, so I'm gonna go have lunch with my boyfriend. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button because I have new workouts and new recipes every single week. Thanks team, and I'll see you guys next time.